Boom! Hello everybody, welcome back to Life with Roro. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I may change my name to Sendo No Pretendo, but I'm not sure, so let me know your thoughts on that. Just leave a comment. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and hit that notification bell. That way you can keep up with me, and hopefully I can keep up with you guys. Today's video is going to be my first Q&A, so bear with me, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's go. So the first question is from Mia. What up, Mia? Well, Mia is my little sister-in-law. She's Paula's little sister, obviously. And her question is, why do you have the best sister-in-law? Yeah. I have two sister-in-laws, so you really put this one on me. The reason why you are the best, or one of the best sister-in-laws, we'll have to discuss this later, is because even though you're somewhat of a girly girl, I mean, you're still down to help me with the yard and like go skateboarding, go get like play sports. So I think that's really cool about you. Plus when we're gone, you watch the dogs and that really helps you know how to engage with them and they love you and you make funny videos with them. So thank you for that. All right, the next question is from Abraham. What's up, Abraham? Abraham lives in Massachusetts and even though he's a Patriots fan, you know, we can still talk and be friends, Abraham. It's all good, man. I still, you know, I got you. So his question is, Vose sabe falar portuguese? And that means, do you speak Portuguese? No, unfortunately I don't speak Portuguese, but I'm trying to learn Spanish, so I may implement it because it is pretty similar. I think it'll help me because I actually have two friends that speak Portuguese, and there's people that I think we work with that speak Portuguese, so it'd probably be a good thing that I learn it. And plus it makes you smarter, right? So the next question is from Paula, my beloved wife. Hey babe, I love you. Her question is, what is your favorite food? Man, this is gonna be pretty tough. Uh, I love all kinds of food and it's a problem. Favorite foods are tacos and wings. Al Pastor tacos and carne asada tacos and buffalo wings from Wingstop. Backyard taco and Wingstop. Those are like two awesome restaurants here in Arizona and I love them and they make a lot of money off me. I hope it's somewhat healthy. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Next question we got Karen. Hey Karen, how are you? So Karen's question is, when are y'all coming down again? Karen, for those who don't know, she's sister in Christ who we met in Mexico on the Mexico mission trips. And I plan on putting their link below in the video. Uh, also shout out to Pastor Edgar and Alma. They, um, they build homes for women in abusive relationships. So it's an awesome thing that they're doing. It, it allows them to like mentor and do all this stuff. There's gonna be more details in that link. So check it out, it's an awesome thing they do in Mexico. God bless them. I love being a part of it. Um, so to answer your question, Karen, we plan on going hopefully sometime this next year after the holidays and all that good stuff. The next question is from Nikki. Hey Nikki, that is my brother-in-law's wife. And her question is, what is yours and Paula's favorite breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Ooh, we. Okay, this is really tough. I'm gonna go get with the wife on this one. No, I'm just kidding, I'm being dramatic. Um, our favorite place to eat would be, I'm gonna go ahead and go with breakfast. It's going to be First Watch. First Watch is amazing. And the reason I say this is because they have like organic options and alternatives, healthy alternatives, and they have great like egg bowls and like Aussie bowls, fruit, good food, eggs, protein, gains, like all that good stuff, salads fruit drinks, and they give you a pot of coffee, which I love. It's not your average like Denny's or IHOP, and we feel good after we eat there, and they have an awesome staff, so thank you First Watch for being awesome. Next question is going to be from Miguel. What up, bro? What up, bubs? That's like an inside thing we call each other, bubs. And his question is, does Paula still snore in her sleep? <laughs> Sorry, babe. But 
Um, no, she sleeps very quiet, and I'm the one that snores, so it's kind of bad. Um, but yeah, it sounds like you, you guys had a rough uh, snoring childhood, so I apologize about that. <laughs> so yeah, she does not snore anymore, man. She sleeps as quiet as a hummingbird. Okay, so moving on to the next question, we have Anna. What's up, Anna? That's Paula's cousin, for those who don't know. And her question is, will you guys have a ceremony if you guys ever plan on renewing your vows? Heck yeah, we plan. Yes, we plan on having DJ lights, dancing, food, fun, doing our thing, some corridos, dun 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 dun, dun some two step. Hey, Michael, where you walk, girl? Do that two step. Hey. I don't know how to dance. All good. I'm still gonna get jiggy with it, and we're gonna have a blast. I plan on inviting our families and just having a great time. Um, we didn't get to do much when we got married uh, just because we went through the courts. You know, we were young and I do plan on making a video about that. I plan on um, definitely sharing more about how we met. So if you guys wanna know more on how me and Paula met and all that good stuff, just leave a comment, I got you. The next question's from Tiffany. What's up, Tiffany? How are you? She's awesome. And her question is, how did you and your wife meet? Man, that takes me back. Like I'm all old. <laughs> we actually met in high school and we're high school sweethearts. So, oh, it's so cute. So the next question is from Andrew. What's up, Andrew? Love you, little bro, I got you. Andrew grew up next to my grandpa where we grew up at. And he saw me and Paula, um, he saw us when we were together in high school. So he's seen us progress. And his question is, what's the key to a good relationship like yours? Man, that's deep, bro. Thank you so much for that. Thanks for the props, man. It sure hasn't been easy, I'll tell you that much. And to answer that question, man, a broad answer is Jesus, bro. Like, literally, Jesus. And I mean, that breaks down into many things. The Bible, the Bible teaches you how to be a good husband. It teaches you how to be a family, like, oriented person. Jesus Christ has helped us, you know, come to where we're at now, keeping him at center. Like we went through a lot of stuff. The whole testimony in itself, Andrew, but man, I would tell you patience, just working together, spending time putting down the technology, engaging, going on dates, and just keeping older people that have been through the fire. If you guys can go through the fire together, that's how you guys will know you're the one, you know, just ultimately though, it was definitely keeping uh, Jesus at center. That's definitely how we got through that one. So thanks for asking, Andrew. Final question, and it's from Charlie. What up, Charlie? Charlie's my boy, man. He is the dude that has really set the example of what it is to walk with God, study your Bible. We actually, I met him on the mission trip to Cambodia. And if you guys want to know more, more about that trip and that what how that happened and came about, just leave a comment below, and we will definitely get back to you on that. But Charlie's question is. What are your thoughts on Jesus is King? Let's go, baby. So Jesus is King is a, a new album from Kanye West. And it's like a huge example of God's grace and just total transformation of a, of a person's mind and heart. Like it goes pretty deep. Like he talks about money, drugs, fame. He had everything and we all see it. The world's seen Kanye, like his testimony. And at the end of the day, it brought no satisfaction. Jesus brought satisfaction. The Holy Spirit has helped him. And that's for all of us, right? Like we all live that sinful life and I'm sure a lot of people can relate. They still feel empty after the drugs, after the alcohol, after all of that. Women, it, none of it brings you like a full holy, like none of it brought peace. And Kanye talks about it. He talks about demons messing with him and stuff. And like he had a mental breakdown and It's serious, man. A lot of people obviously are gonna judge him and look into all this stuff about Kanye West. But the, at the end of the day, with Kanye West, like that's that's him and God's deal, obviously. As far as him influencing people and stuff, like Jesus, Jesus' name is powerful. There's power in the name of Jesus. For me and my thoughts, I'm like, look at Paul. You know, Paul like used to murder Christians, and then he ended up working for God. So God can turn around an evil corrupted heart for his glory. 
And that's his deal. Like sometimes us humans, we don't agree with God's grace and how can this and that happen. But just ask God to give you an answer and to help you to understand that. And he will. I mean, so I just, I pray for Kanye West. I pray for everybody. Like I just pray for the world. And I think he's very artistic. His music is great. And he speaks the truth. And he, he spit out scriptures and I think it's awesome what he stands for now because now that he's saved and a Christian, he's like focused on his family, talking about having your daughters protected. He says in one of his lyrics, um, watch for vipers, like people that are gonna just want your daughter or girls for one thing or maybe to sell their bodies or trafficking, whatever it may be. But he stands for like family and love now and that's so awesome because that's what we need. That's what God said. He said, have, you know, multiply and, you know, raise your kids up to be obedient and and just, like, have a good life. Just be good. So I think his album is very influential, or, but it's definitely positive. And that's actually one of the reasons why I'm making rap today is because I feel like we need more gospel spread, like, a way to spread gospel, a platform to spread gospel and to reach these youths because, man, and this is to all you youth out there, all you young people, reflect on what you put in your mind. So if it's bad music, bad movies, you know, I used to make fun of this stuff. I, I'm, I mean, I listen to all the hip hop. I listen to 3-6 Mafia, Evil Pimp, like the worst of the worst hip hop and rap. And my thoughts were all corrupted. I was like, I wanted to hurt people or I wanted to steal. I wanted to do drugs. I wanted to party. I wanted to like get lit. And it's crazy because you can get lit and get, be all crazy and wild for God and be positive. You don't have to be all like, it's all a setup. The devil wants to trap you and destroy your life. He wants you to do all that so you go to prison or end up dead. And that's it. I don't care what you say, man. If you're out there living it up, you're either going to get in trouble, be behind bars, or dead. And so I, I'm doing the rap thing. I want to make more music for, for people to like have fun with, enjoy it. It's positive, it's spreading the gospel, it gives a good message, and it's about Jesus, and that's what's up. That's what it's always going to be about. And so, you just wanna be careful what you listen to and what you watch. And so I think Jesus is King album is an amazing album. Very creative, it sounds dope, and the beats are awesome, and man, Kanye West is a talented guy. And just another, another one, another way to spread the gospel, and people are gonna hear the truth. Kanye West speaks the truth, he talks about that stuff and like a lot of people hide that stuff and a lot of people in Hollywood and celebrities they hide all this but Kanye West is putting it out there like I can't deal with this I need Jesus and that's what's up because a lot of them they take pills they hide from their emotions they do drugs they run from it but Kanye West has stepped up and he's telling the truth and you're seeing that fruit pour out you guys want to know more anything about like our missions trip or about our life just anything you know let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you I hope you guys have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification button to keep up with me. And God bless you guys. Have an awesome day. And remember, keep your head up, stay positive. You can do this.